Mr. Speaker, I think we need an economy that works for everyone, not just for the wealthy few. But that is not happening today. We have over a million workers in Washington state who do not have paid sick leave. Every one of those workers has to make a choice if they wake up in the morning and are ill or uh, if their child is ill, whether or not to stay home or go to work. And I'd like to tell you a story about uh, someone that I've met, a woman named Alma. She's a mom of three people, of three people, three kids. Uh, they're people too. Uh, <laughs> and um, she supports her family by uh, waitressing, serving in a local uh, Tacoma area restaurant. She has no pick paid sick days off. She's worked in that job for seven years. She's never left work once, except for one time, one time she did. And that was on the day when her 13-year-old daughter had a severe asthma attack. She left work to go take her daughter to the hospital to be treated in the emergency room. But then she knew that she didn't have sick leave, so she brought her daughter back to her place of work, left her 13-year-old daughter in the car so she could finish her shift at work and then take her ill daughter home. Following that incident, Alma's boss told her that she would be fired if she ever did that again. Mr. Speaker, that is wrong. That's the only way to describe it. Getting sick should not mean that you're gonna get fired or you're gonna lose your paycheck. It shouldn't mean you have to make a decision between taking care of your child when your child is homesick and feeding them at the end of the week because you don't have paid sick leave. We can do better than this. We can do better than this for the million workers in Washington state who don't have paid sick leave. We can build an economy that actually works for everyone, not just the wealthy few. That is why I am here to ask you to please vote for paid sick and safe leave for all of our workers, for all of our families, and for our economy.